What's going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark David and if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Don't forget to smash that like button. And by the way, there's a special on M1 Finance. If you sign up right now, I get $30 and you get $30. So we both get it together. It's very exciting to grow your dividend portfolio. You're pretty much buying just about a share of AT&T stock, one of the stocks that I have in my dividend portfolio. So I made a lot of changes to my M1 Finance dividend portfolio. I'm really excited to show the changes. I want to show you why I made these changes because I do believe it's important and critical because my plan and philosophy really needs to stick with the plan. So what I, what I did do on my M1 Finance dividend portfolio, I bought way too many stocks, bought way too many stocks and I need to make changes. Some of these changes are crucial, okay? One of them, one of my goals is to make $1,000 to $3,000 a month on my monthly dividends and $2,000 to $4,000 a month at my quarterly dividends. So how can I really do that if I have way too many shares, I'm sorry, way too many stocks, and I don't have enough shares to reinvest and get this Death Star dividend portfolio powerful to where I wanna be. So original follow, I originally followed Matt through uh, Ramey's dividend portfolio plan. Now I'm gonna stick with that. And there are some stocks that I have in my E-Trade dividend portfolio that I threw on my M1 finance dividend portfolio. So I'm gonna go over both of those and some of the changes I made. So let's check this out right now. Okay, here is the Death Star. Okay, I will share my pie to you guys. Um, I will have it in the comment section. But I made a lot of changes. I really want to show you, I'm back to throwing $75 a week in my M1 Finance Dividend Portfolio. But the exciting thing is the dividends. Starting to get AT&T, Universal Corp, Plymouth Industrial Rate, LTC Properties is giving me $8.97. Altria is giving me dividends, XYLD, QYLD. They're starting to give dividends. And I made a lot of changes to add to my uh, M1 Finance Dividend Portfolio. And look at this, Pembina and Agree Realty Corporation. I'm getting dividends from those guys. So now I'm starting to realize, okay, I can start doing some damage. Now the damage is really kicking in. Let me show you what I did. So I sold Aflac and Lumen Technology stock for BG Foods, Omega Health Investors, Altria, Medical Properties Trust, and Brookfield Real Assets Income Fund, QYLD, Global X, um, NASDAQ 100 Cover Call ETF, BPY, and OPI. So I'm gonna show you a stock and dividend analysis on Aflac um, shortly. So I'll show you why I made the change to add B&G Foods on here and uh, ditch Aflac. Aflac's a very good stock, but I will show you the difference and why I really like the change with B&G Foods. And Lumen Technologies also show you its dividend history and price per share, as well as um, its stock. So I'll do a quick stock and dividend analysis on my uh, M1 Finance dividend portfolio but I really like the way I made these changes and I'll show you why. Okay, so B&G Foods, okay, I have it at, it's right at $30.02, a dividend yield of 6.19%, a market cap of $1.9 billion, PE ratio of 14.8. I will show you its dividend history shortly, but this is what I like, okay, it's $30. $30 with a 6.19% dividend yield. Okay, we've got XYLD, 8.86% dividend yield, right at 48.06, expense ratio 0.71. So those are my monthly, and of course, QYLD, 11.44% with a expense ratio 0.67, $22.04. Now you see where I'm coming from. Okay, so my monthly dividend ETFs, I added Brookfield Real Assets Income Fund. I also um, added Agree Realty Corporation. So it happens 3.76 dividend yield, but this um, there's a ton of potential with Agree Realty Corporation. 
So the P.E. ratio is decent. But the thing is, these monthly dividends, they converted to a monthly dividend stock. And they're going to increase their monthly dividends over time. So this, what's, this is what makes these guys attractive. Okay. The other thing is, I got Spirit Realty Capital, 5.32% dividend yield. So I like the 3.5, 3 to 5% dividend yield. Seagate, 3.32%. Seagate is blowing up. I have some decisions to make. Okay, I'll probably keep it. I mean, it's just such a great stock. I don't know why. The 3.32% dividend yield, so that's very attractive. So I'm gonna keep that. AT&T, 6.29%, $32.24. How many shares? 28.36 um, shares. Remember, my goal is if I can get to 50, I'm doing damage. Look at how much money Seagate got me, $24.28. Okay, now you're see, starting to see it. Altria, $22.30. You're seeing the damage come in, which is exciting. Okay. First Energy, 4.08% dividend yield, $37.61. Okay. Less Rock, 1.31%. Okay. Now, they're increasing their dividend, so I need to think about this with this stock, okay? Need to be careful with this stock. I, I, I see the 1.31% dividend yield. I need to really think about this stock. Is it worth it or is it not? So I have decisions to make. Again, three to five range. Brookfield Infrastructure, 3.69%, okay? Unilever, 1.61, not bad, but I do like its dividend yield over time, which makes it attractive. So I'm gonna keep Unilever. Gotta have a little bit of, a uh, little bit of diversity. So here's what I'm doing right now. So I had um, B and G Foods, so how many shares do I have? I have a ton of money. So was it 3002? Don't forget the $75. 3002. So let me calculate this real quick. 683. 83.19. Right. Let's just say 31. I have 22 shares right there. Times point. 20. Okay, so that's pretty pretty good. Plus, I got Medical Properties Trust that I just added. So that's a nice one. But here's the thing. Let me show you Aflac and B&G Foods, and I'm going to compare both of them. B&G Foods kind of plateaued a little bit. Okay? So Aflac is at 56.46. B&G Foods is down. Aflac is moving up. B&G is kind of stagnant. Okay? In the past year, B&G Foods is up, but Aflac is just shooting up like crazy. So it's going to be difficult for me to compete with Aflac, and it's gone up like crazy in the past few years. But here's the thing that's really set the difference between Aflac. Now, Aflac's a great stock. If you have the money for Aflac, um, great, great, um, great decision for it, okay? Excellent, excellent decision. I, I have nothing against Aflac. I did a stock and dividend analysis video on them. Um, I, I absolutely love Aflac stock. I mean, it's just, I have a philosophy that I have to do. I have too many stocks in my dividend portfolio. Let me show you B&G Foods dividend history compared to Aflac. They have a quarterly. They have a quarterly dividend stock that's thirty two cents, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, forty two. It's at forty seven cents, almost forty eight cents, and it has increased its dividend over time. Okay, very nice 
dividend yield of 6.63%. So this is something that's very attractive to me. Blowing up like crazy. Okay, very nice dividend yield. It's going to increase its dividend yield. I'm sorry, it's going to increase its dividend over time. There's no, I mean, just looking at the trends, this is something that I really like. Okay, now I'm going to show you the difference with Aflac. Now it's not bad. Okay, it's 33 cents, 28 cents, 33 cents. I mean, I can still buy it again. That's not what I'm concerned about. I can add it to my dividend portfolio. It's slowly going up. Okay, it is it is jumping up pretty steadily. Okay, but its price per share is jumping up like crazy. I can't keep up with it. Okay, I want to have a certain percentage of my shares or my stocks. Let's just say stocks that aren't blowing up like crazy, like AT and T. It's stagnant not increasing um, its price per share that much. Same with Coca-Cola, it's not jumping up like crazy and I can keep up with it. So I'm starting to not be able to keep up with Aflac, which is somewhat difficult to compete with. And I'll show you why I sold Lumen Technologies as well. Okay, so here's the thing. Okay, it's $14.43, that is attractive. Okay, 25 cents, 25 cents, you know, I could almost, I'm considering buying Lumen Technologies on my E-Trade dividend portfolio and just throwing it in there so that I can get dividends from these guys, okay? CenturyLink Lumen Technologies. It is a high yield dividend stock. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I need to add it back eventually because, you know, this is just something you can't say no to. Okay, it's cheap. Good dividend yield. I'll show you its uh, stock analysis just looking at it. Okay, it's gone down. Okay, it's gone down. And the S&P has gone up. So S&P has beaten Lumen Technologies. But at the same time, these guys are starting to slowly rebound. But that's not what has me um, selling them. Because the, if you look at the dividend history of... Uh, QYLD, QYLD's dividend history is much better, which I will show you. And I'm going to start putting more money in QYLD, which you get a better bang for your buck, as, a, as I'll show you in a second with QYLD. Okay, so QYLD, it ranges from 22 cents, let's just say 16 cents to 22 cents, okay? That's a good dividend, 12.69% dividend yield, very good cover call ETF. ETF Morningstar five star rated. Okay. Everything looks great about this. It's a monthly dividend stock. It's not, it's not the best for a you know traditional or Roth IRA, unless you have a ton and you just keep on reinvesting. But look at this. You get a pretty good scatter bomb of you know it, it's all around. Okay, and already, you know, you get a good bang for your buck because quarterly dividend, you earn 25 cents. Look at 17 times three, okay? You get more, you get a better bang for your buck. QYLD is just gonna keep on increasing, um, you know, once more and more share, once they start getting more and more shares, I mean, the compound interest is really gonna kick in. It's gonna be really exciting to see um, this stock just blow up, get huge, and just start doing some damage. So that's what I really like about QYLD. When you can put a lot of money in it, it's gonna get you uh, a good amount of money. Um, I'm probably gonna keep it maybe at 5% because you know, once it starts yielding, I, again, I have that goal of 1,000 to $3,000 a month, my monthly dividends, and if this can get me at least 100 or 200 or $300, watch out. So that's what's really exciting with QYLD. So I'm gonna jump to my E-Trade dividend portfolio and show you how things, uh, what I, the changes I made on there. Okay, so what I did is I sold BGS stock, okay, on here. And I sold it on here. And what I did 
is I threw it in stag. Now I have 59.39 shares, okay? That's what I like about the decision I made. I do not regret it. I really like what I see with stag. Stag's gonna slowly increase its dividend over time. And it's a really good monthly dividend stock. I posted videos on these guys, uh, numerous videos on stag and their potential. Look at the potential for my dividend history right now. And right now it's $35.66. I'm sure it'll jump up to you know, 40, maybe even 50. So, I mean, it's very, um, it's, it's huge. It's gonna slowly increase its dividend and I'll show you the estimated income on stag then. So right there, I'm at 6.69 or $6.69 on stag. So that's really nice. So I get up there. Once I start getting to seven, um, eight, nine dollars, ten dollars, that's when things are going to get really exciting and things are just going to start going crazy. I once I get to 10 or 12, watch out. That's when it's going to be really exciting. That's when the compound interest is gonna kick in. That's when the damage is really gonna start kicking in. And I'm really excited to see the changes. I, I really do. Uh, I, I'd like to see how things work, work out with the um, monthly dividend rates. I am selling AGNC, so I'm just letting you know. I just posted a video of why I'm selling AGNC. I'm also going to um, so uh, prospect, okay. So I'm probably gonna throw it into um, stag again so that I can get more shares, get bigger, get more powerful and start really racking up those monthly dividends. So let me know what you think of this video. Um, do you like the changes that I made on my dividend portfolio? Um, if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. This is Dark Dividend. You guys have a great Sunday. Oh, and make sure you're in the comment section. Make some comments. Smash that like button. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, I also have that special with M1 Finance. If you sign up, you earn $30. You both get $30. So um, I get $30, you get $30. So it's, it's a great deal. So you guys take care and have a good one.